Hi guys, what's up? Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I was gonna film my yes, no, maybe so video. But then they were doing construction and some like low mowing outside and I'm like, that video is going down the drain. I don't want to make a video on it. It's going to be like super noisy outside, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully that video will be up tomorrow. With that being said, I did want to make sure to post something for today. I know how much you guys love my TJ Maxx finds, my Nordstrom Rack finds and all of that. So I recently went to Nordstrom Rack and honestly was not planning on finding anything because I just made this kind of video about three weeks back. But I went to two Nordstrom Racks and... To my surprise, I found a bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I have to film it for you guys. I have to keep you guys informed. I ended up just purchasing three things, which I'm pretty, pretty happy about. I mean, I wanted to purchase everything, but you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm going to show you guys that towards the end of the video. We already went. I'll show you guys the footage. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will leave my Nordstrom Rack um, finds in the description box. I recently created a playlist, so I'll leave that down below if you guys want to check out my previous ones. But you guys know I like to post these videos maybe like once a month, but in this case, I guess twice a month. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if you found anything exciting at your local Nordstrom Rack and let's go! We are off to Nordstrom Rack. So excited. Alright guys, I don't know if you're ready for this. I came to Nordstrom Rack randomly and found a ton of stuff. Let's do it! Firstly, I see the Lime Crime Venus XS eyeshadow palette. I always wanted this. This is week length for $9.97. It's been on sale at Ulta for quite some time. So I'm not really surprised it's here, but I'm still really, really excited. This one right here is called the Silver Palette. We get two metallics and two mattes. You guys can see it's more of a cooler tone palette. It's still really beautiful. I love, love, love the formula of the Lime Crime shadows. I find them to be really nice, smooth, soft, um, creamy, just all the good stuff for 10 bucks. Amazing. The next baby Lime Crime palette I see here is the Venus XS rose gold eyeshadow palette so beautiful these are definitely more rose gold wow well, also with this one you get two metallics two mattes the color story here is the definition of delicious you can create a look just using this oh my god i'm so down i see a nice amount of these laura mercy candle glow soft luminous foundations which we've seen a few times in the past at tj maxx First time actually I see it two pennies cheaper at Nordstrom Rack at TJ Maxx it was $19.99. And moving on to the next bin of products, I see this palette here from Bobbi Brown. This is the Crystal Drama Eyeshadow Palette retailing for $24.97, original value $59. Packaging is definitely really beautiful, on point, very, very sleek. Look at that, so cool. It's really pretty. There's a lot of brown, some purple tone shades, mauves, a selection of mattes, metallics, and satin finishes. We get 12 shades that are included in here. Okay, this section really, really got me because I I've been dying to purchase some of these, but never wanted to purchase them for the full price tag. So we have these from Lime Creme, which I'll get into in a second, but we also have these highlight palettes from Lime Creme as well. These were half off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty event. Now I see them here. There are various different like trios to choose from. Um, this one right here in specific is called the Unicorns Highlight Palette. Retailing for $19.97. You guys can see just from the picture, they're not like beyond, oh my goodness, wearable shades. Let's check it out. Here you guys can see what the shades look like. We get like a pinkier shade, a mint shade and more of like a mauve-ish purple shade it looks a bit more cooler in tone i don't know how wearable these are going to be because it's a bit out there but if you're into that unicorn highlight of life maybe it'd be something for you i wish it would be a bit more wearable i would have purchased that these are the lime crime diamond dew liquid glitter eyeshadows it's really hard to see what the shades like because the box is kind of tinted so i'm going to show you guys what each one is but firstly i want to just let you know that these are retailing for $9.97 each which is amazing they're like 18 i think on ulta how cutesy and magical is the packaging so here you guys can see what the first shade is it's called gold dust it looks like it's gonna be bomb the next shade that we have up is called tinsel and this is a really beautiful greenish blue color the best way i would be able to describe this is honestly it's like a mermaid color you know ariel that's what her tail color is. The next shade that we have up is called Holy Shift. And you guys can see it's like a gorgeous purple with a ton of blue glitters in there. These are probably going to be crazy reflective on the eyes. Imagine they'd be better than the Stila Glitter and Glows. I'd faint, literally. Next Diamond Dew um, eyeshadow we have up is called Luster. And this is a beautiful rose goldy orange type of color. Probably the most wearable, I want to say. The final Diamond Dew we have up is the shade Magnet. And this one right here is definitely more cooler in tone. It's like a grayish silver, it's very pretty. Okay, so moving over to the next bin, we have a bunch of these Lime Crime lip kits. How fun is this? It's just so amazing, I'm just like, I'm going crazy. So here are just one of them. This is the Lime Crime Mini Lip Kit. We basically get the Mini Velveteen Lip Liner as well as the Mini Plushies Gloss. Uh, each kit is retailing for $9.97. First kit we have up is Cold Fangs and Cranberry Jelly. Here you guys can see what the shades look like. Definitely very chocolatey 
and dark. Next kit we have up is Girl and Cider. They are definitely giving me like 90s grunge vibes. So pretty, I love it. Next up we have Drew and Hot Chocolate. These are definitely more chocolatey kind of colors. Very, very pretty, I love it. And then the last duo we have here is Cake and Toasted Marshmallow, which I think is personally my favorite. You guys know that. But here you guys can see what they look like. Pretty neutral, um, nudish type of shades with a hint of brown in there too. And then there's a little section here of a ton of YSL products. I think some lip products, cheap products, and nail polishes. So here you guys can see they're called the Baby Doll Kiss and Plush Duo Stick. We have shade number one, three, four, five, six, and seven. We couldn't find shade number two, sadly. If you are into luxurious brands, these are priced pretty well, I want to say, at $16.97. So it's like a two-in-one situation. You can use it for the lips, for the cheeks. This one right here is in shade number one. Here you guys can see this duo is in shade number three. These are swatched, so definitely if you pick them up, make sure that they're not. This one right here is in shade number four, which I personally probably like the most. It's really pretty. There's a light, medium, pink, and then like a watermelon color. Next up, we have shade number five, which comes with more of like a hotter pink and a deeper red. Here we have shade number six. This one right here is very neutral. I like this one as well. And then here we have the final shade, which is number seven. This one is very like ruby-like. This reminds me of Dorothy from like Wizard of Oz, you know what I mean? It's very pretty. So I just hopped by a different Orchard Mark for two seconds. They don't really have much, but they did have these MAC little makeup bags, which I thought was kind of cute. And so I wanted to show it to you guys. You guys can see it says MAC all over it. The interior is just like this really pretty green color. It is like wipeable, so if it gets dirty, you can just wipe it down. And these bags are retailing for $19.97, original value $35. So you save a little bit. I also wanted to show you guys that they have some of these MAC little glosses. So this is just a deluxe small size. They usually sell these for $10 at the MAC store. This is in the shade Lovely. It looks like a yellow, but I don't think it's going to show like yellowy on the lips. I think it's going to be more clearer. But here, retailing for 3 bucks, which is crazy, crazily affordable. I think originally here it was 5 or 6 And then I was just going through these bins to see if there's anything new. Most of these products I already showed you guys in other um, Nordstrom Rack finds. But we've never seen these beauties here. These are the heavy metal glitter eyeliners from Urban Decay. I love these. I own, I think, about like 5 or 6 pieces. They're really, really pretty to like add a pop to any look. Retailing for $10.97 each. I believe on Sephora they're about $20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it says it right there. Forget we're not at TJ Maxx right now. Starting from the left, we have Sticks and Bones. The middle one is called Punk Rock, and then that beautiful blue is called Gamma Rays. So nice! Do I need these or not? I'm not sure, but they're so yum. Such a gorgeous day in New York today. Love it. I know you guys like to see these like touristy things, so here we are. We're back again. Here's my Nordstrom Rack bag. It always makes so much noise. Um, I ended up purchasing three products like I mentioned. Also, a lot of you guys tell me you love how I do my threes. Everyone thinks I'm a weirdo for this, and I possibly am, but this is how I've been doing it since I was like a kid. My sister's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, nothing or everything. <laughs> All right, let me show you guys. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick up the Venus XS Rose Gold Palette. This it was like this or the other one, and then I'm like, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this one. I just loved the shades. I wanted this one for the longest time ever. Um, when it was on sale at Ulta and everything, still didn't pick it up. But then when I saw it at Nordstrom Mac, I'm like, now is the time to shine. Here's what the palette looks like. As you guys can see, it's beautiful, small, compact. You guys know I adore babies, baby palettes, and babies in general. <laughs> And then here are the four shades that are included. We get two mattes and two metallics. So here you guys can see what the shades look like when they're swatched. The two top shades seem to be a bit more pigmented and I would say creamier compared to these two, which mm, were pigmented but not as pigmented as these. Um, but maybe they'll be very available, so that could be good. Anyways, matte, matte, metallic, metallic. Then I ended up picking up two of these Diamond Dew um, glitter, liquid glitter eyeshadows. So you guys saw there were five shades to choose from, or six, I don't remember. Um, but then I'm like, Lira, stop it. So I picked up two for myself, you know what I'm saying? And I just thought that these two would probably be the shades I would get the most use out of. So here are the two shades that I picked up. The one on the right is called Luster, and the one on the left is called Rose Gold. That's so cute. You can see my lips moving. Hey. Honestly, if I would find more of these shades at TJ Maxx, I most probably will pick a few of them up. But for now, I picked up two from Nordstrom Mac, which I'm okay with. <laughs> and then here you guys can see what these shades look like. The top one is Rose Gold, and the bottom one is Luster. I will say they are a bit more watery based uh, compared to these steel ones, but these are with one swipe swatches each. Still very pigmented. Rose Gold is probably a bit stronger than 
than luster so that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this nordstrom rack adventure let me know what you think about the products that i picked up let me know what you think about the products i saw on nordstrom rack i would love to hear your comments and i think that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video which hopefully will be my yes no maybe so too much noise that title speak to you guys soon bye <laughs>